Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. It's time to finish up the Bowser Kingdom. There's just a few more moons left to get, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, just a handful. So let's buy one from the shop here. Just the one. And let's buy out this purple coin shop. For all of its cool things that it has. Also got this, these costumes, the samurai armor, and the happy outfit. Maybe later, we actually need the samurai outfit. Also love this sticker, the sticker looks really good. Grab all that. And there we go. Let's head out of here. Let's get these last few moons. I think one of them is actually the uh, the hint art, which we can't do at the moment. While well, we're in this kingdom, at least. You want to get a uh, look, see, so what's going on inside? You gotta be dressed for battle, friend. The armor, you look like a samurai. Well, step right in. So we need this outfit to be able to get back here. And now, we get a... a pixel section here. An 8-bit area. Which is actually really cool. Oh my goodness, I love the way that this looks because it's the... the paper... whatever thing. And it's, it's the 8-bit area. Oh my goodness. Oh, I like it so much. Also, the, the thing at the bottom of the, the purple stuff at the bottom of the screen is poison. But it's, it's like lava, but it's, it's purple, so it's the poison. I, I, I just like this. They were so creative with some of these 8-bit levels, and I hope that they make, like, I, I'd be okay with an entire game of like, classic Super Mario Bros. style, but it's got a lot more art to it, and also all these different things you can do. You know what I mean? I love the pixel moons as well. Like a 2D collect-a-thon thing. I'd be very happy with that. Grab all these. Also, these mushrooms go down when you, while you're standing on them, and go up when you're not for long enough. Oh, I need that to go, so I can break these blocks. Oh, how do I stop that? I don't even know. That should be enough, but I'm just gonna break that anyway. Goodbye, forever shell. Scene of crossing the poison swamp. That's both of those moons. So it's very short-lived, but it's, it's still really cool. Yep, just one more moon left, so we're done here. So, let's head over to the island in the sky and move on to the next kingdom. We'll have to come back here once we have another hint art, but for now, it's time for the Cascade Kingdom. The Cascade Kingdom is probably my favorite for just collecting moons, just regular moons. Maybe? Maybe tied with the Seaside Kingdom. But anyway, I also want to change out of this outfit quickly without touching the Odyssey. Without putting Cap on the globe. Be very careful not to drop a Joy-Con while I'm right here. Let's get changed. There we go. It just looks so much better being the original outfit. I'm just weird, though. Um, anyway, I believe there's a thing here, a telescope thing that we can capture, and there's a few things in the sky, like Sphinx. Just visiting other kingdoms, apparently. We haven't even touched the moon block yet, that's just one that's available now after the end of the game. So let's go grab this one. 
And we should probably hit the block, which is up there. You can see where it is by the X on the map. That's too low. I went to the wrong marker, but that's fine. Let's head back up there. Oh, I can hear... Peach. Be careful you don't get... Uh, so entranced by the big waterfall you fall in. I used to come here a lot to play when I was little. A power moon fell over the waterfall, but don't worry, it seems fine. Oh. Okay then. Come to think of it, I'd like to see those big ruins in the desert again. Yeah, that's just another hint for another level she wants us to find her in. But we're not going to be doing that just yet. Also, did I actually select the right flag? No, I didn't. I changed the... Okay. Anyway, let's hit this block up here. And make everything amazing. <laughs> there they are. Just all over the place. I want more Mario Odyssey right now. Just more moons. Just more... More collection of everything in the levels. It'd be kind of cool to have it be like uh, ukulele, where you can expand the levels. But also, I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, I just realized what I needed to do, but that's okay. We're just going to jump off here and grab this power moon. Ah, oh, so close to getting back up. Anyway, um, there's a power moon right up there. Let me go get that then. If I can. Grab that. Treasure under the, under the cliff. There's also a power moon way out this way that we can go get. So let's go ahead and... Wow! That was very close. That's okay. Because we can grab this power moon now. Just a hat, skip, and a jump. Very cool. Uh, also, I want to head back to that pixel pipe over there because it's got a a note collection thing now. If we can get over there. There we go. Just roll through this pipe. And let's take some notes. Oh, get up there, Mario. Grab all those, and there we go. I s just love the 8-bit sections. And I'm not going to stop talking about how I love the 8-bit sections. Anyway, let's go over here. And right on the very edge, on this horn here, is a power moon to get. So let's grab that. Guarded by a colossal fossil. This is a cool spot to just be in general. There's also these platforms here that weren't here before. I don't know when they appear, but they're here now, so we can use them to get down here. I don't... You might be able to use them to get up as well. Uh, kind of, I guess, if you do it correctly. Let's do this moon block pipe over here. Okay, we need to throw Cappy onto switches and avoid the wind. We'll use it to our advantage. And also a moon block level. Because I like moon blocks. It's so colorful. Okay, knock that down and also throw Cappy out there so he can get stuck. Might actually have to throw him normally and not use motion controls. There we go. So it activates that switch. And we can go up here now. And now if we just hold Cappy out there. We hit that switch, which gives us a power moon. Also, the backgrounds in these particular moon block levels is really nice. <sighs> I'm just gonna... St I'm never gonna stop gushing about this game, I'm sorry. It's just the way that I am. And I love this game. Just get rid of all those. Okay, this section is a little bit 
interesting about how we have to do it. So we need to actually be a little bit careful about where we are when it blows back and forth because if we're on one of the bits that over overlaps with the blue bits, it will push us off when we get too close to the blue bit. There we go, and there we go. Across the gar the gusty bridges bridges. Okay. Oh, hello, coins. Just gonna grab those. Oh, okay. Where are the rest of these? Still have plenty more to do. I believe if we can get up here, which is a little bit easier said than done, apparently. If we move this dinosaur a little bit, possibly break some of these rocks. Yep, there it is. There's a glowing spot here, which has a power moon. Under the ground. Um, where's that one? Is that one... Oh, that one's actually underneath the bridge. Let me go get that, since that one's a little bit out of the way. I didn't mean to not dive there. Anyway. I think I've got some problems with my Joy-Cons and the connection between the Joy-Cons on the Switch. But I think it's mostly okay. There's one over there. There's just some everywhere, apparently. That's actually a really good thing about it, though. Like, the, the, the words are hard. The moons appear everywhere. But they're also, like, spaced out enough, I guess. Is that... Where is that? It's right here. Probably in the air or something. Because it's not in the ground. It's not a ground pound thing. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. But let's go... Um, I guess I could actually use this pole up here to try and do a few things. Because we can go up like that. Yeah, I don't know where that moon is. It's not in the air. Interesting. I'll have to figure that out. I don't remember what that is exactly. Ah, uh, but it looks like there's a power moon right here. Did I not get the one down there? I know I got the one down there. I got the one down there. Uh, it might be possible. No? Maybe? Hang on. If I can get this to line up properly. No. No. I think I can break some of these things and have it give me things, maybe. Yeah, that's that's what that was. So maybe I have to just break some of the blocks down there for that other moon that I couldn't see. But I don't think it was... It wasn't overlapping with a block, I don't think. I'll figure it out. Ah, oh, there's two there. Oh, we actually... I almost got all of them in here already. Yeah, we have 32 or 40. That was fast. Let's find this pipe thing down here. See what this is. Oh, moon block level. Lovely. It's, it's good already, in my opinion. And we have these cloud blocks that we can make. Cloud platforms. You also don't need to shake the controller to actually make these platforms appear. You can just throw Cappy in it. Usually works out. Um, I probably don't want to go that way just yet. I want to go up here. Yeah. Oh, that was close. The platform below disappeared, which was concerning. Got this moon up here. Atop a wall among the clouds. I guess these count as clouds. Technically, I mean, that's what they are made of. But I wouldn't say among the clouds. Oh, that was close. Oh, this is really very close. Also, these platforms remind me a lot of the platforms in Super Mario 64 in... 
Rainbow Ride. Across the mysterious clouds. Those... Duh. Having PTSD. Uh, is it PTSD? I don't know. The With those platforms because of having Mario fall off of that one. Over and over and over. So it looks like we have most of the moons here now, which is nice. Just have to get the last few once I find them. I have to actually go over there. Uh, but I actually need the dinosaur, I believe. So let's go do that. And go places with it. We could cross the bridge, or we could go all the way around to get over to where we need to go. Break everything, break everything. So much fun to break everything. Just jump down here. Just for literally everything. Still nothing. Maybe there's another thing in the air that I need to look at. Probably. Oh my goodness. There's a trampoline there that I didn't know about. But anyway, if we take it all the way over here to this pole and break that, there's actually a glowing spot underneath it. So let's see what's there because it's obviously a power moon. I'm also going to quickly double check this because I'm so sure. <gasps> no, it's just particles. Thought it was, was more than that. Um, it's there. Is that it? No, that's the Sphinx. I already did the Sphinx. There's a regular ship over there. Yeah, it looks like there isn't anything with that. So what is this power in that I'm missing? Under the old electric pole. What is that? What is it? I guess I could talk to, um... Uh, what's it called? Uh, talk or two to check that. Uh, but there's also another moon that I need to get as well. It's not just kill these things, is it? Like, kill enough of these things around here. Don't think so. There's no hint art. Either. There's a Pixel Mario there, though. Yeah, it's right here. Like, right here. Don't know what that's about, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's do some racing. Where are we racing from and to? I can't remember. I think it's just up to that bit. Yeah, right there. Which will be interesting to say the least. It's not really that advanced. But I guess this is the first kingdom, so it's probably supposed to be the easiest. Supposedly. Just gonna triple jump my way up there. And then, if I can, I think I can go straight up here if I don't go a completely different doorway that I'm trying to go. And we can use these blocks up here. Ah. To just go straight to the end. 31 seconds is pretty bad for that one, I'm pretty sure. If I can get a 25 second one for that, that'd be really good. Go for the gold cup. Let's go for gold. I'm a master at this, possibly, maybe, hopefully. I, I like, I, I hope, but probably not. I think these triple jumps are actually working out for me very well. No, I wasn't trying to... I wasn't trying to dive, game. I wasn't trying to dive. I didn't press the button or shake the controller and it thought it shook the controller. Rage. I was trying to ground pound. And it, for some reason, decided I was diving. 
It must have been because, like, I was probably... Like, I did the ground pound pretty quickly, and then I accidentally shook the controller or something. That's better. Yeah, 24 seconds. That's... That's the time I should have gotten the first round. So there we go. Now there's another one that we can get, but we actually need to get changed for that. So let's be very careful about getting into the Odyssey. The back door is obviously safe-ish. <laughs> the back door is just the pipe in the back. Uh, we need the caveman outfit. As strange as it is. I don't think I can walk from in here, can I? No. So, if we head all the way up to the top of the level. Eventually. Also, is the... No, it's still there. Okay. The other moon that I don't apparently know how to get. And this hat person wants to see a caveman. I heard there was a real caveman around here. I'd love to meet one. A caveman! I'm such a fan of your work. I'd like you to have this. It's always nice to meet a fan. Caveman, cave fan. Someday maybe I'll take up cavemanning. Good luck with that. Um, let's see if I can find... I'm gonna talk to Talker 2 and see what Talker 2 says. Because there's only... There's two moons left. Caught hopping at the waterfall. Oh, I know what the other one is that I don't know about. Um, caught hopping at the waterfall. Though. I didn't see... A... Rabbit. But there must be then. Can't even see with all this steam everywhere. Actually, is it... No, it's not. That's also interesting. So where then is... Oh. What? <laughs> where, 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 where were you? Where was this rabbit before? It didn't exist before. I'm confused. Oh my goodness, he just jumps right back up there. And got him. Cool. Let's grab that, and we're done with this level already. I'm gonna get changed. I don't even know. I don't even know. Just gonna be careful. Cool. I really don't want to deposit these moons yet. There's a lot more to get. Oh, too far. There we go. Just wish I could take the back door out again. Okay, let's go to the next kingdom. What is the next kingdom? Oh, it's the, the snow kingdom. Okay. This one could use some music as well, though. Please, 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 thank you. Um... Guess this one. This one's a good song, so why not? Also, I have to activate this cutscene, which is probably gonna get rid of the music, sadly. Okay, let's get started. Yep, the music's gone already. But in this cave is... a secret. Uh, of course. So it's another one of these things. It is actually different, so... This will give us some more moons. Welcome to the racing course. Only certain races are allowed to compete here. This course is long. You will need all of your, your great skill. The prize is a mo power moon. Uh, you will participate, of course. Yes, I will. Let's start the race. Let's see if I can do this. Ice burn circuit. Class A. And I love the, the lights, you know, the lights in the sky. We kill those stars. 
Oh, but it's not. It's cool. Literally. Okay. Can I do this a little bit better than this? This is just the A class, and I'm still barely ahead. Also, this cave is a little bit difficult to control. Just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Just go. And that's the first lap. Oh my goodness. That works out. Just gonna go bounce normally up that, please. I need to go faster. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, that's not good at all. They're right there. Get up there. Very nice. Making some good progress. Just gonna skip right through there. Let's go. Let's go. I almost caught up with the back, which is good. Oh my goodness, the rolling. Very nice, and we're done. Just under two minutes. Of course, there has to be an S course, or S class, S class as well. Okay, my first and third were very close together in times, which is surprising. Considering I didn't really know what to do in the first run, but anyway. There's our first power moon. So let's get another one. Finally, now you show us some real speed. The final prize is a power moon. Will you, partic you will participate, of course. Yes, I will. Let's start the race. Here we go. They're so far ahead of me. It's not even funny. I'm trying to build up speed right now just so I can get ahead of them. I think hitting the edges of that actually do a, makes you go a little bit better at that bit, maybe? Oh, I'm so slow right now. I'm still behind. That was kind of good, but then it ended badly at the end there. And I'm getting behind again. Cool, great. I love this fun minigame. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to take that shortcut there. But it feels faster, so I don't know. Get up there, please. Oh, this is not good at all. This is the second lap, and I'm still in third. Oh, please. I don't want to slow down, is the thing. But I might have to in some bits. Oh, come on. Come on. If I can get this last second win, that'd be amazing. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Yes! That was terrible. I don't know how I won that right now. The second lap was the best. I don't even know how. A supersonic with no rival has promised your power moon. What? What just happened? I don't even know. Anyway, let's get out of here. 
I don't think we can actually get out of here while we have this capture, so there we go. I guess that, mean that means that that capture can actually go places that it's not supposed to be able to go. And that's why it's so limited, somewhat. Anyway, there's another moon over this way that I can just go get, I guess. There we go. Above the freezing fishing pond. But also I think that's it for now, so... Oh, don't change the camera randomly, please. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.